Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Road to Goat, the uh, Rob Womble saga, episode number 19, and we are enjoying life in the French capital at Paris Saint-Germain. It's been uh, quite a journey so far, and we are going to get our first real big test of the French League today. I cannot wait. I hope you've been enjoying it. Our first game against Monaco. Monaco, Marseille, Lyon, uh, Bordeaux. They are probably some of the strongest sides, I would say, in the league alongside Paris Saint-Germain. Look at this. Neymar gifts it. And oh my God, what a goal. What a volley. Neymar served it up on a plate. <laughs> Rob Womble gets hold of it and absolutely spanks it. Into the net. Jesus Christ. That was that that could be goal of the season. That could be goal of the season. Certainly the best goal that I've scored at Paris Saint-Germain. Look at this. We start the move by giving it to Neymar. Neymar looks up. Little chip. And then on the volley. Jesus Christ. Keeper had absolutely no chance. The curl, the spin, the finish. Lovely stuff. So uh, let's hope for some more of that. And look at this run now. Down the left-hand side. You know he likes to play as a winger as well. Cuts back inside. Tries to get past the defender. Manages to. But unfortunately, Neymar fucks him over and completely blocks his view and blocks his run there. It's something that we don't need. Neymar, you're supposed to be on my side. Come on, mate. Play the game. So uh, after uh, Wimbledon's very, very impressive 1-0 away win last week at Fleetwood, today we take on Coventry at home. Something that we, uh, I, I hope to be able to say in the next video that we absolutely uh, spank them. Just like Paris Saint-Germain are going to do to Monaco here. So here we go. We know the routine. Little chip in. One ball! Oh my god, Subasic gets it, claims it nicely, 20 minutes gone, and uh, Paris Saint-Germain looking very, very comfortable here. 1-0 at half-time, let's hope for some more in the second half. A packed-out Parc de Prince here in Paris. So, uh, Telemans now looking up, finding that space there. The Paris Saint-Germain defence really backing off him. Verratti, a lovely little through ball there by Neymar. An unnecessary skill move by Womble, and there we go. There's the second. Goals from outside the box. We get a plus one. We get a plus one for shot power as well. We're getting plus ones all over the place, people. And there we go. 2-0. And uh, I would say probably Monaco will be our closest rival in the league. So... Um, to get a win against them is going to be absolutely huge. And it was a it was a lovely take and goal. We're going to try and get some from outside the box if we can. Verratti, look at that through ball. Lamella onto Womble. Womble. And there we go. That is the hat trick. A 9.6 rating for the game. We get the hat trick right on 19 minutes. Park de Prince is absolutely rocking. It's going to be uh, pastries and baguettes all round. Uh, that's what they do at Paris Saint-Germain. You, you, your team won? Your team won? Fantastic. Have a baguette. That's the way it works. Take, take my word for it. You don't need to Google it. That's a fact. Look at that. Lovely little touch. Just to kind of get it away from the defender there. And that slid lovely into the back of the net. Hello, ref. Give me that fucking ball. All right, fuckers. I'm off to my... Uh, a palatial palace in the centre of France. Three goals and God knows how much money made. I think about 165,000 actually currently that uh, Womble is on. I think we might be able to do better than that. So the question is, folks, and this is something that I need you to answer in the comments below. Do we leave Paris after this season? Let me know what you think. I was going to try and do one, uh, one club a year. If I can. So, I mean, it's getting to the point now where we're looking at City, Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern and Juve as being the only clubs that really can afford this guy. But there we go. Three goals, seven uh, shots off target, three on target and all three went in. Lovely. That's what we like to see. So a little bit of training now. We're still not quite at that 89 rated. I cannot wait to hit 90. I don't know if I've had a player that's hit 90 overall, but we, we will look into it. And I think we found our new haircut. There we go. We're going with the man bun. You people are going to be so pissed off at me. I know it. If I know my subscribers, they'll fucking hate that. So here we go. Paris 4. Fenerbahce ruined, basically. Neymar with a lovely little hat trick there. A game against RC Strasbourg uh, ends in a very disappointing nil-nil draw. Not really too much we could have done better there. And uh, excuse me. Fucking excuse me. Who's the player of the month? Neymar. 
okay. I'm I'm guessing the people that made that decision weren't aware of the hat trick and the, the lovely new haircut I got, which is obviously worthy of Player of the Month as it is. Or maybe they gave it to Neymar because of the haircut. We, we might need to change the haircut. That It might be ruining our chances. So here we go against Olympic Marseille at home. Part of the Prince absolutely sold out for this game. Mounier, lovely little ball over the top. The first touch by Womble's absolute genius. When we first started, the, you know, the first touch of a rapist. <laughs> it's getting better now. Verratti through to Lass. Lass all the way through to Womble. Oh, my God. Uh, we didn't do enough. We didn't do enough there to try and get the angle right. That favourite angle that we have. So, uh, first half comes and goes. We've had our chances, but it's been very, very equal between the sides. It will go down as a nil-nil draw in the first half. But look at this. Wombat escapes. Two defenders in on goal. And that's got a ref. Referee. That has got to be a penalty. And that should be a red card as well. Just a yellow. Okay. Are the people that decide these yellow cards and red cards also the people that decide the player of the month? Because I'm through on goal. It's... Okay, yeah, no, you, you know what? Maybe it is a yellow card. I've seen it again. Yeah, a red would be a bit harsh. Uh, naturally, Womble doesn't get to take the penalty. It's that Brazilian twat, Neymar. So, uh, all I can say is that you better score it. Good, good stuff. Now I don't have to pay people to go down uh, to Brazil and burn down your uh, family's favela. There we go. Good stuff. Lovely stuff there. 1 0 up against Olympic Marseille early in the second half. Let's hope for some more of this. We need all points we can possibly muster. I'm still a little gutted we didn't beat RC Strasbourg in the last match. But now, back into this game. Womble in on goal. Let's it fly. And once again, it goes wide. Good God, two chances like that now. Mernier getting absolutely molested down the right-hand side by some Olympic Marseille players. Ozil whips it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to go near post. Oh, my God, we try and bundle Mandanda into the net, but it turns out that uh, Neymar fancies me. He's trying to snog me in the back of the net there. We can't be having that. So, 1-0. We didn't score, but uh, a win is a win. I will take that. I will take that any day of the week uh, by hook or by crook, folks. So an 88 overall rating for us, a 7.4 on the day. 50% shooting with 66% passes are uh, completed. Not too bad. Out of position only once, and we intercepted the ball once as well. So that, that, that wasn't too bad, but uh, uh, the manager's not too happy. One green thumbs up, three red thumbs down. And uh, there we go. One ball displays score in touch. Just... Just not in the last game. He's shown us he can score and I'm happy that he's doing it, stated the Paris manager. If his form can continue, then I think we'll be able to get more results in the league. Well, I guess you've got that, you know, pay limitation of Neymar. Just saying. He's not as good as one ball. So, uh, there we go. Uh, one draw and the rest were wins. Big, big stuff going on. Big, big stuff going on at the Parc de Prince. So, right, now it's time to play Dijon. And uh, we're away from home. So, uh, let's see if we can perform in our lovely yellow kit. So, look at this. Look at that run there. Look at that run. I see that run. I'm going to choose to ignore it until the last minute. Lamella now. He's going to whip it back across. One ball. Oh, my God. I think Lang maybe took him out. Lang maybe took him out from behind. I don't know. Back into Wobble. There we go. Second bite of the cherry. The first cross was probably actually a penalty. It looked like someone bum rapes him from behind. Second one, though. He's not going to miss that. And maybe, maybe the power is contained within the man bun. Maybe that's where it's coming from. These volleys. Maybe the man bun gives us volleying power. Volleying plus one with a man bun, folks. You've heard it here first. FIFA, get on that for the next game. Look at that. Lovely side of the foot there. Just straight past the keeper. Gorgeous stuff. And I'm not just talking about the hair. It did look like he was just giving a pile driver right at the end there. No. All right, so here we go. 21 minutes now. Trying to get the ball back. And it's an awful pass. Lamella picks it up. There's that space. We're going to go on our run now. With a lovely first touch. We found the angle. One ball. You know what's going to happen. If you leave him in space, he's going to score. So there we go. The man from Kingston upon Thames, England, has scored once again. We've come a long way since AFC Wimbledon. We've come a long way since playing at Berry and Fleetwood. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. I would actually love to end this career by going back to Wimbledon. I wonder if that's possible. Like if you like your stats can go down and you go back to like a 71 and Wimbledon say, yeah, we'll take it back. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome to end it there. So here we go. Look at this. Caligari. Oh, my God. 
absolutely blasting it. It's only 28 minutes gone and already Dijon are down by three goals. Unbelievable stuff. Look at this. Comes inside. He, there, he just spanks it through the legs of a Dijon defender and into the top of the net. So look at this. What can we do now? Caligari once again into one ball. And oh my God, it's a horrible miss. It's a horrible miss. It wasn't a volley. Otherwise, we would have scored it, obviously, because the man bun plus one volley in power. You, you know how it goes. But god damn. So there we go. 3-0. End of the game and the end of today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming back, checking out the channel and the series. Let me know what you think of my new logo, my channel banner, uh, in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion of it. And uh, come back in a couple of days for some more FIFA 18 goodness. I'm contemplating whether to get Pro Evolution Soccer 19 for a bit. I uh, probably won't because, well... It's shit.